is gonna be about my bathroom and bedroom organization which means I'm gonna show you how I organize my wardrobe or closet, my dressing table or vanity and also the bedside table or nightstand because I'm gonna move to the new house next week so I think this is a good chance for me that I just show you guys how I organize my things together and keep my bedroom really really organized and I'm not gonna show you every single product that I own because that can be boring but I'm just gonna go through stuff quickly just to show you where I put things together and how to keep them organized so let's just not talk too much and have a look at my organization so I'm gonna quickly show you my bedroom I'll just let you look around it's quite a small bedroom so I try to keep everything as organized as possible hi I'm gonna show you how I organize my dressing table and here's the full look of it most of the furniture that I got are from IKEA I guess so first I'm gonna start off on the left side of the desk this is the iPhone speaker that I use to put music on every time that I put makeup on and this is the mirror from IKEA some flowers and these are the makeup brushes that I use in daily on daily basis and under the mirror this is the nail polishes and that is the alcohol gel when I need to clean my hand to put makeup on and stuff and these shelves are where I put the makeup tools like this is the powder puff that is the false eyelashes eyelash glue and this is the eyelashes that I just keep in the mochi boxes so it's really useful and it's easy to be kept as well and some more puffs and like some tools and more lashes and that is the facial tissue paper and hair dryers that is like a cable holes for this is I think this is the desk for like computers and stuff like that but I just use this to put hair dryer in because it fits see eh? it's just perfect fit and it's just easy to grab it every time that I want to use it and these lights are from IKEA it's called music light this is the light bulb from IKEA that is quite orange so and I don't want the lights to look that much orange so I just use the normal white lights here so you can see that the light is not that orange and the switch is just there Ooh, so dark <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you the drawers I'm gonna start off from the left side first it's not that organized here because I try to find the different ways to keep it organized I'm just not that happy with it but I'm moving soon so I just need to show you now do I? the first one is where I put the hair comb, hair brushes and this is like hair accessories and stuff and the second one this is small of the like miscellaneous stuff like lip balm hair and just, just everything really but I keep everything in the little boxes so it's not like going all over the place if you know what I mean and this is quite a messy one this is like the bottle products that can't fit in anywhere it's like like baby powder and hair products spray facial sprays sun cream just everything really and at the back that is like the hair sprays and stuff that is just really tall and can't fit in anywhere so I just need to put it like that some perfume back there and this last drawer this is where I put my eye palettes in and at the back that is like the spare products they're like powders and foundation just everything really it's like spare little makeup I just put it back there and here is how I organize the makeup products these boxes I got from a shop called Komonoya in Thailand it's like an organizing box it's just really good it's 
actually it's just perfect for this IKEA desk as well because you can see it just fits in. The first two boxes here, I put the foundation in it. So this is foundation products and this is the primers and highlighter, something like that. And this is concealer and this is powder products. And this is the brush, I mean blush and bronzers. And this is eye products like mascara, just all kinds of eye products will be here. But this is more of the like pencil shape and this is more eye products but in like palette and jar and everything like that. These are lipsticks, lipsticks, I think I have too many lipsticks here. And lip glosses and this is like gloss and just little packages here and this is some powders that I couldn't manage to fit in there. So I just put it here. I try to not buy too many now because if I buy more then I don't have anywhere to put them so let's see if I can do that. And down there there's a bin if you notice. The cable is a bit messy but I can't tie it anywhere because when I lift up the hair dryer to use it just needs to be moved. So if I tied it up then it just can't move. That is it. That's my dressing table organization. I hope you like it. So before I show you my closet organization, I just want to quickly show you the accessories cupboard here. I got this from a furniture shop and here it is. This meant to be for scarves so you can hang it until the end there but I want to keep my scarf in the closet so here it is, here's a full look and this is my bedside table this is from IKEA as well on top of it, it's just some fake flowers that I got from a furniture shop and some candles from Bath & Body Works if I want some nice smell in my bedroom. And this is the cable organizer. It's quite good really. It kept my cables in here so it doesn't look that messy. It still look messy but... <laughs> and this white thing here is the clock from IKEA. It's quite useful because when you press it, it just lit up. So it's just good for in the middle of the night that if you want to know the time. In the first drawer here, I got some diaries at the back. This is just the stuff that I started to write when I was in year six. I think it's like 10 or 11 years old. And these are, these are the old ones that I already finished and I just kept it next to my bed. So when I don't know, when I can't find anything else to read, I'll just read this. Just, give me good nostalgic feelings and on the left here it, that is my old DS game and some electronic stuff charger, earphone and some medicine if I need to keep my stomach not rumbling in the middle of the night and this is more of a beauty site lip balm, facial treatment, eye mask so that's it really. And on the second drawer here, this is where I keep my spare bath and body works candles. Just if I want to set, change the scent of the candles up there, I just grab it from here and use it. And these are the bottle, oh, water, <laughs> sorry. These are the bottles of water that I just keep spare so um, I don't get thirsty in the middle of the night. And that's it really. And now I'm going to show you the closet organization. You might see that there are four doors there, but what is mine is just only two doors on the right. So I'm not going to show you these two, but today I'm going to show you how I organize mine. So this is where I put my main clothes in. It might look a bit packed because I got a lot of clothes and I try to keep it as small as possible because as you can see that my closet is really small okay so the top shelf that is my 
makeup bags that I just put these spare pouches for traveling and here's the clothes that needs hanging and down here are the drawers that I got from Ikea as well this first one is just like my bras and underwear so I'm not going to show you much of them and in the first drawer here are my t-shirts and tank tops I like to fold it like this because it's just easier to see everything and also save space as well and the second drawer this is just the same really but this is the pyjamas and the bottom drawer, this is the big one that I just keep my jeans and shorts I just fold it in the same way really like stack on a side like that so it's easier to see what you have and on the right side okay so this is everything so on the top shelf there that is where I keep my bags that need to be kept in shape like that one and that one but on that side that is the basket that I put the little bags in you can see like that and the second shelf this is where I keep the bags that don't need to be kept in shape so I can just like stack it on the sides like that and here are my shoes I got this from Daiso this is like a stackable metal shelf that I just got it it's really cheap as well and down here there are three more drawers that comes in the closet the first drawer this is the basic tank tops and back there is the exercise clothes and the second one this is where I keep my belts and socks I just like to roll the socks together like this so it's easier to grab and that is where I keep my belts I just stack it in on the side like this so it's easier to see and back there is the short belts like the one that goes with the dress or long shirts or something like that and this is the last drawer it's a bit broken there this is where I keep my beanies and swimsuits and just like winter stockings and stuff like that and on the sides that is the door of my closet on top there I keep my caps and hats and here are all the scarves that I just put on the rail there so I can see what I have and that's it really and this is my bathroom when you first walk in you see some stuff on the left here that I'll go to it later and on the right you see the sink and that is me in the mirror hi <laughs> and on the left side of the sink I have my electronic toothbrush and three drawers that I keep my stuff organized and on the right side I have my skincare stuff and another drawer down there and I'm gonna show you what I put in each drawer so first draw, I have the electronic stuff like this is my epilator and this is just like electronic tools like chargers and spare toothbrush heads but. and in the second draw, I have the spare <laughs> don't be shocked please <laughs> this is the facial mask that I bought a lot when I go to Hong Kong and when I was in Thailand I just stock a lot of stuff and don't worry they're all in date still they're not expired or anything okay so the third drawer this is just like my daily tools uh, this is cotton pads that I use to clean makeup every day some cotton butts and some floss and that is a like hair bands that I use to like when I go in the shower and that is my tangle teaser for brushing my hair so on this bit is the hand soap, the mouthwash and some spare toothbrush and stuff. <laughs> so on the right side here is the skincare stuff like my facial wash, just everything, deodorants, body lotion 
and on this drawer here's my acne cream and stuff like that and these two boxes here are like tools that I use to cure acne and this is just like facial more facial masks and like my night cream eye cream under the sink I have some stuff in there as well on the left side this is the spa product and most of them are the tall bottles that I couldn't put in any of these drawers and I'll just put in the basket here and these drawers oh sorry <laughs> this is one of the like spare products spare bottles that I use for traveling and this first one here is shavers and a spare toothbrush and the toothbrush case and this drawers also tools that is like the stuff that you use to get the uh, perfect wavy hair and I hardly even use it <laughs> I even forgot that I have some of these and that is the bag that I use to pack stuff when I travel and that is the uh, spare cuts and packs so on the right side I got three more drawers and I got all of these drawers are from IKEA and on top of the first one I have these magazine pages that I just put it here for like that time of the month if you know what I mean and after I finish using the pads I will just fold it in this one of these pages anyway so the first drawer here just that pad I got different types because just different time it just needs different types of the product so and this drawer is a bit empty, I need to refill this. Uh, this is where I normally put the toilet papers. So this fits six in. I need to buy more. <laughs> and this last one is like a spare boxes and containers, just in case I want to use it. And on the left side of the bathroom, you can see what they are here. I'm gonna start with this toiletries area first. So here's the shampoo and all the shower products. And the second one is like the shaver and the products that I hardly use, like a body scrub and hair mask. And that is the facial towels that I use every day. Every time that I wash my face, I will use each one and then just put it to wash. I think it's better for my skin as well. Okay, and the last one, that is not junk, <laughs> is the shower cap that made out of foil, I think. This kind of shower cap will keep the heat in your hair more, so it's good if I use it with the hair mask, like that one. And this is the cloth basket, and, and that is the basket that I put the facial towels in every time that I used it. So when I finish using, I'll put it here and every time that is full, I'll just wash it separately so it doesn't get mixed up with the clothes in there. And this little towel is the hair turban that I used after I finished washing my hair and that is a bin so <laughs> nothing much really. And on the right, this is the toilet and above the toilet, I have a little clock there to just keep track of the time, like how long I spent in the shower and if I'm in a rush, I can just check time here easily. So that was it. That was how I keep things organized in my bedroom and bathroom. I hope that you find this useful and I hope that you enjoy this as well. And if you like more videos from me, you can subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, you can just click thumbs up down there as well. And until I see you in the next video with the new background, maybe in the new house. Bye! Next product is this Bouchour Happy Light matte serum primer this is the primer for oily skin to put all over your face before you put foundation or bb cream on and